Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a while guys since I uh, filmed the video. I think it's been over a week, yeah. So Juki's Place recently had a sale. I believe the sale is still going on. Yeah, their Easter sale is still going on 25% off site-wide. So across their products, I think they have, they recently launched lipsticks eyeshadows, blushes, whatever you want to buy 25% off site, right? Yeah, so after watching this video, I, I bought liquid lipsticks. Oh wait, <laughs> liquid lipsticks. And then I also bought the festival um, eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested in buying, you can go ahead and place the order 25% off like, yeah, today. I'm not sure when it ends because it's already Easter. So they still have the sale going on. But anyways, I was very curious about these liquid lipsticks. Um, so unlike their eyeshadows, these liquid lipsticks are made in the States. So they have um, two of the liquid lipsticks that are sold individually, which is, this is Soil. This uh, falls under the festival collection. So um, when they first initially launched the festival eyeshadow palette, they they came up with this palette and then they also had two liquid lipsticks, this orangey shade, which I picked up, which is called Soil, like a uh, red soil. And then they also had this very black color, Dudu or Dodo, I'm not sure. So these lip liquid lipsticks are sold separately or you can even buy them as a set. But they came out again with another liquid lipstick collection called the Empress Lip, yeah, the Empress Lip Collection. So these liquid lipsticks that come under this Empress collection, they come as duos actually. Do you see this? One is um, a flat matte liquid lipsticks, li liquid lipstick, and the other one is a metallic liquid lipstick. Both liquid lipsticks dry down uh, to a transfer proof finish. This one as well. So yeah, I was very curious about these and I think this was the right time to pick it up. They came actually really well packaged, as you can see, um, it has this golden thing, which I don't want to blind you guys with. And they and um, these two li liquid lipsticks in the duos, they both were sealed, sealed with that um, plastic wrapper. So they were brand new, but the soil li liquid lipstick was not sealed for some reason. Um, so just the duos were sealed. And how much is this? The duos cost $22. Initially, I think they priced it for $22. But recently, I'm just taking a look at this site. They have slashed the price from $22 to $15. So you can apply the discount again on the $15, which would come up to what, like close to $12. So yeah, so I think that would be like a really good deal. Two full-size liquid lipsticks for $12. If you like the you know, formula after you, after I speak about the formula, if you're still interested, I think that would be a really, really good deal. Uh, what else? So $22 initially for the duos, but now they've slashed the price to $15 and you can exercise the discount again on the uh, $15. And I think the soil liquid lipstick is $13 I think hold on guys let me quickly check that because I'm not sure I think the singles are yeah 10 oh wait they these retailed initially for $12 and they have slashed the price to $10 each so the so the soil liquid lipstick is right now $10 and the doodoo -doo, yeah doodoo -doo, the black color is also $10 Again, you can apply the 25% off discount on the $10 again. So I think that would be a really good deal if you like the formula. And what else? I also bought the uh, eyeshadow palette. This retail for $21. So with um, the discount and everything, I think I paid $19 because I also had to pay shipping. So I ended up paying $19 for the eyeshadow palette so let me first lip swatch this whole thing and then let's get on to the eyeshadow palette oops this is like really firmly placed in here so and this is the as i said it's like um looks like a red soil kind of a color 
that burnt orangey brown kind of color this is actually crazy pigmented guys oh before i forget i don't see anywhere which tells you how much product quantity you get on the liquid lipstick which is actually uh very strange and odd and i do not like it um or at least i have Maybe it says somewhere and maybe I missed it because at the back it has a list of ingredients and also has uh, uh, some um, chemicals that might be in this product. And then it just says cruelty free, uh, paraben free, vegan, distributed by Juvia's Place and made in the USA. That's all it says in the actual product. It doesn't say how much you get. It just has the name soil and matte and made in USA and on the website again. At least for the Empress collection, it doesn't say anything. Let me quickly check what it says on the product page of Soil, this particular uh, lipstick. Um, under the description tab, it just says orange terracotta shade, beautiful on all skin tones, comfortable, minimal to no scent, rich, pigmented and lightweight. It doesn't tell you how much you really get, which is actually, this is like basic information. You know what I mean? Like value, how much value you get in a product, and not mentioning that is kind of a little odd. I I don't I'm, I don't appreciate that. I mean, they should have mentioned it, or maybe it is somewhere. Maybe I missed it. I don't know, guys. I I've like double checked and triple checked, but I haven't seen how much you get. Like really get. So that's it's not something I really like about that. So let's just watch. So do you see how pigmented that is? Like really, really pigmented, guys. And you do get a lot of product in this applicator. It's like uh, just a traditional doe foot applicator. Nothing uh, creative, nothing like out of the ordinary. I mean, this is sufficient, surely, the doe foot applicator. So yeah, that is soil. It's definitely a beautiful shade. And um, especially at their price, $10 is really good. That's drugstore pricing for a product that's made in the States. So yeah, and dries down completely to a um, transfer proof finish, this lipstick. So yeah, that is that. If you see a lot of um, the pigment getting, if it's adhering to all the dry patches, I've been having a lot of dry skin issues. This winter, I know the winter is, is over and we're already in spring, but still really having a lot of problems, guys. So let's just watch this metallic liquid lipstick first because I want you guys to see how it looks by itself. And then I'll swatch the matching um, flat matte liquid lipstick and I'll then top the metallic thing over it. And then you'll be able to see how it looks by itself and also, hang on. Is, is this a metal? Yeah, it's the metallic one. I know it looks so deceiving, but you guys, this is this looks like it's like completely pigmented, right? But this is so sheer. Let me just shake it just in case. This is so so sheer on the lips. You guys will be so shocked to see how it looks in the swatch and on the lips. Do you see how sheer it is? It's not exactly streaky. Which leads me to think that maybe this is meant as just a topper, like a liquid lipstick topper. You can obviously, I guess, layer this maybe twice. To get like a full on opaque metallic liquid lipstick, but by itself with just one coat. Do you see how you can see my natural lip color peeking through? So yeah, that is the... Metallic liquid. It's a stunning color guys. So so pretty and this is called Moro metallic Both the colors are called the same the purple color both are called Moro one is matte and one is metallic and Then this is Moro matte Moro matte. Hang on, let me put the mirror down And that is Moro I know these two kind of look the same, but for some reason when I top the metallic over the matte, it kind of becomes more bluish than purple. I 
Let's just shake this one just for everybody. I don't know if you guys can be able to tell the difference. Let me first swatch this. This is really pigmented, guys. Not streaky at all. Not streaky, not uh, sheer. It's a really good purple, if you ask me. So that is Moro Matte. So it looks more purple, or, or at least that's, that's just my perception. Uh, you, if, if I top this over the matte, I feel it kind of turns it more bluish. I don't know, just let's see. This is actually not yet dried completely, but still um, it doesn't move around the matte liquid lipstick that I applied underneath, which I really like. You don't have to wait like a solid minute or anything you can just apply the matte liquid li matte lipstick and then just apply the metallic over it i hate fussing over lipstick i don't know liquid lipstick is a little fussy you apply a layer you wait until it's dry and then go in with the second layer that is if the formula is good but this really works well and I really like it. I feel it kind of turned it into a little blue, bluish. I don't know, it's just, it's just me maybe. <laughs> so that is Moro, both the colors topped on my lips. And, and I think layering wise, uh, technically I have two layers of liquid lipsticks, although they are two different ones they are. But once this dries down, it does not crumble. It doesn't like um the pigment doesn't like transfer anywhere which i really like because you have because technically we have two layers of liquid li lipsticks and i applied the metallic one before the matte liquid lipstick dried off so i feel um the, the formula is kind of flexible and this one but i feel the um the purple duo the moro duo is kind of on the drying side whereas both are completely uh opaque the matte liquid lipstick the purple matte liquid lipstick and the orange matte liquid lipstick both are completely opaque but the orange matte liquid lipstick is kind of on the comfortable side whereas this is kind of on the drier side so that that i have to mention but otherwise i really i just i'm stunned by how gorgeous it is especially with that slight uh, hint of the shine on the lips it's really beautiful guys um i do recommend it if you don't mind a slightly drying formula um but otherwise i think the price is really good with the discount right now because they've already slashed their prices with the discount right now i think you uh especially the duos you get like 11 to 12 dollars you pay 11 to 12 dollars with the 25 percent off and you get two full size uh, it's, it's just a pity we don't know how much we get Otherwise, we'd be able to compare it with a high-end and with the drugstore or, or whatever. But um, it's, it's still a mystery. We don't know how much you get. That's kind of, I don't know, like fishy. It's, it's, it's a little fishy. Why, why isn't it like made available, you know? Anyways, um, I do like the liquid lipsticks. As I said, the orange, the soil shade is a little uh, comfortable when you compare it to the purple. But... The matte purple lipstick, the matte moro lipstick, and the matte soil lipsticks both are completely opaque. The metallic, although it is meant as a topper, but you can obviously, I think, uh, layer it. Maybe I would assume three layers from how sheer it looked. Um, so two to three layers, I guess, guys. So yeah, uh, no problem, I feel, to be honest, with the uh, liquid lipstick. They are good, and these are made in the States, made in the USA. So let's take a look at the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette, um, it is cruelty free and it doesn't say vegan, although, hang on. Uh, usually, I don't know if they usually say vegan, but the liquid lipsticks are vegan. Both the liquid lipsticks, hang on guys, let me quickly check. Yes, both liquid lipsticks, this is the Moro Duo. It says cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. And um, this is the soil. The festival liquid lip is. It also says cruelty free, paraben free, vegan. But 
the festival eyeshadow palette it just says cruelty free product so i think it's safe to assume that it's not vegan probably because it has a lot of red it has two red eyeshadows so you get nine colors and uh you get 32.4 grams in total and no mirror and this um the outer packaging kind of depicts the colors you get inside kind of yeah so you have this very um blue toned red and then you have this warm red and then you have this um mustard and then this pink and then yeah so these are the colors i wasn't very enthusiastic about this palette when they released because i was i kind of feel this is a recycled palette because the reds we've seen a lot of reds from juvia's place palettes already uh not that i'm really tired of seeing reds but you know it's just an observation and this gold this pale gold i've seen it many times and uh this pink not so much to be honest this center row this middle row actually is really unique i wouldn't say that it's we've seen much from juvia's place these colors before but the top and the bottom row we've seen this white i think you can find one a magic place somewhere something similar not magic place just a magic palette and then uh what's the other one sahara the saharan one palette yeah the saharan one palette and then the bottom row the saharan two palette has something similar but more richer and much much amazing in pigmentation and like quality wise and then this gunmetal i think we have a gunmetal in the deuce deuce palette and then there's also gunmetal in the magic palette uh so it's it's been seen before so it's kind of not not like too too unique that's why i, I didn't really, uh i wasn't like too enthusiastic about this release so yeah so let's get into swatching and i do have some thoughts on the quality and performance guys so let's get into swatches so this is izafa which as i said it's a blue toned red it's good in pigmentation that is a matte color you don't get a lot of uh, foiled eyeshadows in here a lot of um, these two are consider are actually technically foiled eyeshadows the pale gold and the white and these two are um, satins and the rest are mattes so this is uli uli is a white it's just a white shade there's nothing to it to be honest it's just a white metallic shade and again guys i don't think these are the best metallics from juvia's place we have seen i have seen much better i don't consider this a foil shade if you ask me this is like a metallic shade just your usual shimmery shades um not really foil if you ask me and then ofala is a warm very warm fiery red and that's a matte and then um manvu manvu is a coral shade i thought this would be a little bit um darker but actually it's very quite pastel on my my skin tone this is the color i have just above this is like the the real transition shade that i have do you see this light color just above the pink that is the transition shade i have like i've used the pink almost as a transition shade but even just above that almost near the eyebrows is what i have this is where i have this color and then iri g that is two words iri is one and g is second word it's a hot pink probably because of the intensity and like reds and pinks that's why it probably it's like not vegan this palette and then this mustard color is oro i really uh i wasn't excited for this mustard color i'm usually not that excited for mustard colors because they don't look like anything like what you see in the pan on my skin tone maybe on lighter skin tone they look really beautiful on my skin tone they kind of look very ashy but this is good this is like a real mustard color even on my skin tone so it's a really good color and it kind of brightens the uh 
if you use this color in, in the transition area, it kind of brightens your eye and kind of opens it. It's, it's a good color, guys. It's a really good color. It builds up well. It's nice. It's, and that is called Oro. And this Kiliki. Kiliki. This is... Um, Juvia's Place says that this is a um, satin finish. Honestly, I don't really see the difference between this and this finish. Both the white and the gunmetal. I don't know. I feel they are kind of the same. But Juvia's Place says this is a foil finish and this is a satin finish. So, I don't know. And then we have ABBA. A-B-A. It's like a muted mid-tone teal color. It's not very muted if you ask me it's like a it's a beautiful color and that is satin as well and again i don't feel it's too too satin it's kind of like a soft shimmery shade and then it says odog woo odog woo that is just like a champagne gold shade and this is um foil finish i suppose and <laughs> I don't think this is a foil finish at all what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below i just don't find this foiled at all have you s <laughs> if you think that this is foil finish you have it means you haven't uh, used any other juvia's place palettes because they have a whole nother level of foil finish juvia's place with other palettes so yeah so that is all the swatches okay let's talk about the quality and how this performed before that maybe i'll just tell you guys the my eyeshadow look so as i said the transition shade is like just all like it's way above the crease it's like all touches my almost my eyebrows so there j maybe you can see it right there it's the um, coral shade like this very pastel coral and then just above the crease i have the pink the hot pink the this hot pink and then in the crease exactly i married this hot pink and this blue toned red together you see a tiny bit of depth to the look just right there uh that's because of the red and i really feel the red kind of diluted when i kind of blended the red and the pink i was expecting to get a very very intense like um I don't know like a revolutionary shade but i i really feel the red kind of got diluted in the pink and i honestly don't see the red at all it just it just looks pink what do you guys think i just don't see the red um so yeah i really wished i would like blend both together and get this very stunning shade and the red kind of disappeared in the pink and um yeah, I'd, at the moment, I just don't see any red. And I've had this makeup on just for four hours. Um, and what else? On the lid, in the outer and the inner corner, I have the gun metal, as you can see. And then just um, moving towards the center of the lids, I have this color, the, um, the teal. And as a spotlight look, just in the center, I've just used this shade. I don't know if you can see... I don't think you can because it has completely vanished that white shade has completely vanished believe it or not I use this white shade I, I apply this white shade as a spot spotlight highlighter just in the center of the lid using my fingers I did not use my brush I use my fingers and how is it that it's disappeared I don't know in four hours and it's not that I've noticed it just now that white shade disappeared within an hour i'm not even joking guys i'm not even joking i was so disappointed how can an eyeshadow disappear when you apply it especially with your fingers you know what i mean that was really disappointing and again the blue looks really faded it does not look anything like what i've swatched because you know i've really applied a lot and like really you know uh, put a lot of pressure when i'm swatching it here but on the eyelids, I just tapped it a little bit and I don't know, guys. I'm not saying this is a bad palette. I'm, this is not a bad palette. I'm saying this is a very average palette. 
and there's a lot of room for improvement guys so much room for improvement especially when you compare it with their other superstar palettes in my opinion the masquerade palette and the saharan 2 palettes are like outstanding just brilliant quality um I don't know now the mattes really blend well i did not have any i did not encounter any problems with blendability or anything they blended really beautifully and very easily but the powders and the intensity with respect to pigmentation it's just missing guys it's just missing um i'd say unless you you're very particular about these colors like these are the colors you've been searching all your life and here it is Unless if that be the case, I'd say skip this palette because this is not Juvia's Place's best palette. Honestly, it's not. Now, I've never complained about a Juvia's Place's um, eyeshadow quality. I have not like the Magic palette. The Zulu palette is beautiful because it is colorful, but otherwise it's, it, it's good. But it's just a matter of color selection, personal preference. Those are the problems I've had with Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette so far. But the quality on this is just not... Uh, it's very subpar guys it's just I don't know it it hasn't lasted well the metallics have disappeared I don't see how that is when I've applied it with my finger do you see the white on this in the spotlight area just in the center it's just as if I've it, there was no white eyeshadow and maybe a little bit is just sticking to here on the eyelids and um yeah in the center and, and in the in as an inner corner highlight i've i have used it white which is like actually good probably because it's like in the most undisturbed area i don't know why but um and that red even when i blended it i just it, it kind of diluted or it like did not even like adhere to my eyelids well i'm not sure what the problem was but if you use the red individually by itself you can see the pigmentation it blends well it applies well but lasting power guys for, i'm now i'm filming this after four hours of wear i started uh, observing fading um within two hours and it's not good guys i really feel this like it's not uh, this is a very average palette the reason i'm calling this is this an average palette is because the metallics are average and the mattes they blend well and there's all right pigmentation i mean they swatch well and everything guys and uh, but i don't know i really feel that when i want to mix colors i really want that um that particular area where the colors marry i want a different color to appear you know what i mean a red and then a different color and then and pink um i don't know that that's the kind of um result i'm expecting not like the red to completely disappear you know um and this blue i really had high hopes for this blue uh i don't know my personal um preference is the saharan 2 and the masquerade palette if you're interested definitely pick those up and those are very colorful palettes as well and the pigmentation is nowhere close to how intensely like those the pigmentation on those two palettes are like it's just punch you in the face that's how like intensely pigmented these are but uh no it's just a pass from um i mean i have it and probably i might use it but just because i have it i'll probably force myself to use it uh, but otherwise no guys it's it's all right it's an average palette because of, it does blend well and it's the it kind of shows up all right i'm calling it an average palette but otherwise the shimmers are actually a major letdown the shimmery shades whatever you want to call it foil shimmery i think they're all soft shimmers i don't find the, these things these this one and this one are considered foil i think if i remember right I don't think they are foiled at all i mean these two are have the same kind of finishes as these two right don't you guys think so yeah you guys that is my review hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe and i will see you guys very soon um so yeah bye bye